At one point or another, we've all heard the phrase, life is short. But how short are our individual existences, really? How much time do we really have to love, learn, eat, sleep, work, play, and live our lives? Well, as it turns out, when you look at the numbers, not very much at all. When it comes to life, one thing is certain. We all have a limited amount of time available to us to enjoy the time we have on Earth. And whether you believe that you'll one day return for round two, or three, or four, or if this is the only shot we have, it doesn't really matter. We're all born, we live, and we die. It's what you do with the time in between that truly matters. Unfortunately, it's impossible to know exactly when we'll die or what the future holds for us. The same goes for when we're born. We don't really remember those first couple of years as babies, so we can't control how we live in those early days either. While some people may only have a short time on Earth, others can live for 100 years or more. From genetics to accidents, disease, diet, and even dumb luck, fate decides how long you have, and there's not much we can do about it. But we can determine how we put the hours, minutes, and seconds we do have to good use. We can choose to let all those precious moments slip by, or we can make the most of them, living life to the fullest, making the most of every passing minute. So let's put things into perspective. Let's take a look at the numbers to get a better idea of how long most of us have and where all that time goes. Let's examine how short life really is. We start by looking at how much time we have in total at our disposal. The average person alive in 2022 is expected to live for 72.63 years, or 72 years, 7 months, 2 weeks, 2 days, 14 hours, and 12 minutes. More specifically, that translates to 26,528 days or 636,672 hours available to us from the day we're born. For the sake of perspective here, we're going to be looking at how our lives play out in hours. During these two-thirds of a million hours, we are born and we navigate our childhood before heading to school. Once we're done with learning, we either head to college or start working. This adult phase takes up most of our lives, before we decide to retire and set out the last of our time taking things easy. Then, one day, we die. In the grand scheme of things, 630,000 odd hours doesn't seem like much. And when you think about all that time that has already passed in your life, it isn't. Technically speaking, according to the statistics, if you're watching this video and you're older than 36, then more days have passed than you have ahead of you. Scary. But don't stress about that too much. Every year, the median global life expectancy is increasing quickly, so by the time you hit 72, you'll probably have a couple more years, or even decades, ahead. Okay, back to the numbers. Let's get the biggest time taker out of the way first. Sleep. Most of us try to get in 8 hours of sleep every night, while as babies we sleep for far longer than 8 hours every day, and as we get older we require a lot less sleep, clocking around 7 hours as we approach old age. So it's safe to say that each of us will dedicate about a third of our lives to sleeping. This isn't a bad thing, sleep lets us recover, and getting good sleep over the years may even allow us to live longer lives. We couldn't survive without sleep, and besides, most of us enjoy a good snooze. So, by sleeping on average for 8 hours every day, we'll spend no less than 33.33% or 212,224 hours of our entire lives in bed. For reference, that equates to 8,800 days or more than 24 years with our eyes closed. Once we've accounted for sleep, we're left with a little over 424,000 waking hours to live our lives. Once we're born, the clock starts ticking and our lives begin. Okay, we haven't accounted for the first nine months in our mother's bellies, but you decide when we kick things off. As soon as we come into the world, we enter the first phase of our lives, 
Infancy. This six-year stretch typically runs up until we head off to school and makes up the time we spend as babies and young children. Now, remember, we've already accounted for sleep, so we're only considering the 16 hours we're awake every day. During these 2,192 days, we have 35,064 hours to play, learn, and generally have fun. We are entirely dependent on our parents and caregivers, and almost every decision is made for us. Infancy takes up around 8.26% of our lives. However, our ability to remember these carefree days only really starts to kick in from about the age of two and a half, so we can pretty much write off the first 30 months. Once we've ditched the diapers, we head off to the next chapter, school. Most of us attend school from the age of six through to about 18. On average, most young people are required to commit around 200 days every year to school, with weekends and holidays making up the other 165. Generally, a school day takes up seven hours, and once we multiply this by the 2,400 days in a 12-year school career, we can see that we'll spend around 16,800 hours, on average, of our lives in the classroom. This represents only 3.96% of our waking lives, really not a lot of time if you think about it. For some, this number will come as a huge relief. For others, eh, not so much. Once we're done with school, we either head off to college or begin working, start a business, or find a passion to which we'll dedicate most of our lives. We've decided to combine all of these into the next stage of our lives, work. This portion of life is by far the longest and busiest running from the tender age of 18 until we retire. The average person is currently expected to retire by their 65th birthday, 47 years after they bid farewell to school. Almost five decades is a long time, especially if you're going to be working for all of them. But it is between the ages of 18 and 65 that we'll experience the richest and most fulfilling phases of our lives. We explore the world, fall in love, have children, and settle down. Some people discover their passions while others get trapped in dead-end nine-to-fives. Some get to retire by 50 while others work well into old age. Whichever path you choose, work takes up most of our time, whether we like it or not. It's simply a fact of, well, life. But when you look at the numbers, things aren't so bad. In fact, they're pretty good, actually. The average global working year requires people to do their jobs for 252 days annually. That means for 47 years, or 11,844 days, we're working five days per week. Taking into account vacations, sabbaticals, weekends, and holidays, you can expect to commit around 94,752 hours, or 22.31% of your total waking lifetime, to work. Thankfully, people are realizing that we don't actually need to spend so much time toiling away in the office anymore. With AI, automation, and the newfound focus on wellness, 40-hour work weeks will soon be a thing of the past. Finally, once we've put in the work and the sun starts to set on our lives, we head off into retirement. Well, most of us dream of retiring by the time we're 50. In reality, 65 is the current expectation. Smart investing and choices may mean that you can retire sooner, saving more time to enjoy the fruits of a lifetime of labor. But if you're expecting to retire at 65 and still reach the 72.63 year mark, you'll only have around seven and a half years of your entire life to enjoy retirement. No wonder older people need less sleep. This gives us 44,590 hours, or 10.5% of our waking lives, less than half of what we spend working to enjoy our grandchildren, rest, and eat whatever we want before we close our eyes for good. Not all that much time. A word of advice, start shooting for a good 80 years if you want your retirement to at least equal the hours you'll likely spend working. Eat right, get enough sleep, exercise, and kick those bad habits today. So, we've accounted for sleep, 33.33%, infancy, 8.26%, school, 3.96%, work, 22.31%, and retirement, 10.5% of our lives. 
That gives us a total of 78.36% of our entire lives taken up by sleeping, learning, working, and taking care of responsibilities. But what about the remaining 21.64%? This portion represents the time available to us to eat, travel, love, sing, dance, read, share, and generally live our lives doing the things that make us happy. We have 137,785 hours left over to make the most of our time on this earth. And while that may sound like a lot, it really isn't when you think about how much time we waste doing things we don't necessarily enjoy. We'll spend around 2,930 hours, or about four months of your life, waiting for a red traffic light to turn green. Expect to spend around 78,000 hours in front of the TV, watching nearly 3,700 movies and over 30,000 episodes of shows. And we'll spend, on average, around 5,300 hours on the toilet. Yes, that's about 220 days of your lifetime, pooping. So the next time you hop in the car, pick the scenic route, or find a shady spot under a tree to read a book instead of switching on the TV. Or try to get a move on in the bathroom, the clock is always ticking. Life is short, just take a look at the numbers. Make the most of every single moment, every single day. You never know when your time will run out. Thanks for watching, and remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification icon for more great videos like this one. Until next time, goodbye for now.